Want to speak real Turkish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at TurkishClass101.com. Hi, everybody. I'm Seda. Hi, everybody. My name is Seda, and welcome or welcome back to TurkishClass101.com. In this video, we are gonna go through the structure of need. The, this subject is a bit complicated in Turkish, okay? So I will start immediately and go through it one by one. Uh, this video is a pure grammar video, so be ready, okay? It can be a little harder than usual. I will walk through you with charts so you don't get confused too much, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. First thing first, to me is gerekmek in Turkish. Gerek. Mek. Gerek mek is the dictionary form. What do I mean by that? It means that it is not the conjugated version. Okay? When you look at the dictionary and see this mek mak ending, it means it is the definite form of the verb. If you don't need the definite form and you want to conjugate the verb, you need to take out of this mek mak part at the end of the verb. Okay, it is like not using the to in to need. You say I need, you don't say I too need, right? For example, here gerek mek becomes gerek. And you add the suffixes to gerek, not to gerek mek. What is the structure for gerek mek? You use a verbal noun with a possessive suffix. Or the definite form of the verb, then you conjugate gerek mek. For tenses. Just a quick reminder, normally you add the possessive pronouns, tenses and everything to the verb stem. For example, if I want to say I go, I would say giderim. Okay, giderim. Giderim includes the present tense and the pronoun I in it. But in gerekmek, you add the pronoun to the verbal noun and you add the tense suffix to gerekmek. I know, <laughs> I know, I know, it sounds very confusing right now, but don't worry, it will get easier. What is a verbal noun? What is it? Um, they are basically words, but used as something else in the sentence. If, for example, I say, um, Swimming is fun. Swimming is fun. Is is the verb here. And swimming is the verbal noun. It is very sim similar in Turkish. Dictionary form of a verb is the verbal noun. But there is a twist. In Turkish, you can conjugate verbal nouns by adding pronoun suffixes. For example, let's take the verb gelmek, to come, gelmek. The definite form is gelmek. For example, gelmek is de bağlıdır. To come is optional. Gelmek is de bağlıdır. If I want to add pronouns to this form, I will take the K at the end of gelmek and it becomes gelme, gelme. So this is how it is conjugated. Gelmen, my coming. Gelmen, your coming. Gelmesi, his, her coming. Gelmemiz, our coming. Gelmeniz, your coming, in plural. Gelmeleri, their coming. Okay? <laughs> Are you still there? Okay. So, you may ask, where is our topic to need here? So, for to need, this is the formula. You use a definite or pronoun conjugated form of a verbal noun plus tense-based conjugated form of gerekmek. Now, 
Before it gets too complicated, let's get to the chart. I will explain this on the charts. It will be easier. Okay? I will see you in a bit. You will see the chart. I will talk through the chart. Hello! Welcome back. And now let's see the charts. Fiil çekimleri, verb conjugations. You see four different verb conjugation in four different tense. Present simple tense, continuous tense, past tense, and future tense. The need verb is conjugated in different tenses in Turkish. So the good news, as you can see, there is one tense uh, option. Because you, the pronoun suffixes are added to the verbal nouns. So you don't need to add that to gerek, mek verb again. So you just need to learn one tense conjugation. In the chart, present simple tense, you see verb plus m, verb plus n, verb plus c. This is the part that I talked about. This is the verbal nouns. I already talked about how you do it, but I wanted to show here as well. And at the end, you see two verb. This is the definite form. You, if you want, you can use it without a pronoun. And after this, and as you can see, it is the same in every tense. It's the same in present simple, continuous, past and future. It is the same. After you do that, you uh, conjugate the gerekmek verb according to different tenses. For present simple tense, it is gerekir. For continuous tense, it is gerekiyor. For the past tense, it is gerekti. And for the future tense, it is gerekecek. Now, let's see a real uh, example. You see the chart again. And we have our word gelmek. What is gelmek? It is to come. So, if I want to use this verb gelmek as a verbal noun, I would say for uh, the first one, gelmem, gelmen, gelmesi, gelmemiz, gelmeniz, and gelmeleri. And if I don't want to conjugate it according to the pronouns, I would just use the dictionary definite form, which is gelmek. So it becomes, for example, I need to come become gelmem gerekir. You need to come gelmen gerekir. Gelmesi gerekir, gelmemiz gerekir, gelmeniz gerekir, gelmeleri gerekir. And if you use the definite form, the dictionary form, then it means gelmek gerekir. It is just a general conversation. It, it's not me needing to come, you needing to come, but it is necessary. You can translate it like that. It is necessary to come. So you can just, uh, after you conjugate the verbal noun, you just need to uh, conjugate the gerekmek verb either in gerekir, gerekiyor, gerekti or gerekecek. Okay? Okay, now let's see our next chart. You don't have to be so positive all the time, right? <laughs> let's see the negative conjugation of the verb gerekmek. So, we had our lesson about negation. As you know, as a general rule, me or ma suffix is added to the verb stem to make a negative. And you can see it here, the me, ma suffix. And the verb itself, gerekmek verb itself, is conjugated in third person singular uh, pronoun. Gerek mes. 
Okay, gerekmez. Doesn't need. Gerekmiyor. Something like isn't needing. It's not a thing in English, but it's a thing in Turkish. Gerekmedi. Didn't need. Gerekmeyecek. Won't need. And the rest of the rule, same. You see the verbal nouns. You see the verbal noun suffixes added or the dictionary form. And you just make it negative uh, by adding mema to the uh, gerekmek verb stem. Okay, let's see our example with gelmek fiil. Here, as you can see, again we have our verb gelmek and you conjugate the gelmem, gelmen, gelmesi, gelmemiz, gelmeniz, gelmeleri or you don't conjugate it at all and you just say gelmek and after that you add the verb gerekmez, gerekmiyor, gerekmedi or gerekmeyecek. Okay, the rules are the same. You just either make it negative or positive. I want to remind you again. With the gerekmek verb, you add negative suffix if you want to make it negative and tense suffixes. What are the tense suffixes? Present simple tense, continuous tense, past tense, future tense. But the pronoun suffixes you don't add it to gerekmek verb. You add it to the Gelmem part. You add it to the verbal noun. So, that's it. I will see you in a bit. And before I go, one more note. Uh, since now we talked about the version of, uh, in English, it when you want to say I need something, he needs something, he needed something, they will need something in that form. But there is also a form of uh, something is needed. That's how you do it in English. Something is needed. It's a passive form. But in Turkish, you just use the noun and then again the verb gerekmek and you conjugate the verb gerekmek according to tenses or if you want to add the negative form you already learned it you add extra me so let's look at the examples elma gerek this is the same version for example if i want to say gelmem gerek i need to come gelmem becomes verbal noun it starts like a verb but it turns into a noun so the structure is the same actually we have our noun then plus we add our gerekmek fiil gerekmek verb so it's here it's the same you just add any noun then you can add gerekmek fiil after that for example the next sentence yardım gerekiyor help is needed Doktor gerekmedi. Doctor wasn't needed. Yemek gerekecek. Food will be needed. This is the easier form. You just add the noun. But the idea is the same. Okay, come back to me. So, how was it? Was it more clear? Was it too hard? You take the chart and work on it. You will get through it. I believe in you guys. So before I go, I will give you sample sentences. I'm not going to explain the grammar further. Okay? You can deconstruct the grammar by using the charts. Okay. Whew. Okay. That was a lot. Let's start. Yarın ofise gitmem gerek. I need to go to the office tomorrow. Yarın ofise gitmem gerek. Yarın ofise gitmem gerek. Hemen şimdi eve dönmeleri gerekiyor. They need to come back home right now. Hemen şimdi eve dönmeleri gerekiyor. Hemen şimdi eve dönmeleri gerekiyor. Söylemek gerekecek. It will be necessary to tell. 
söylemek gerekecek. Söylemek gerekecek. Okay. Görmesi gerekmedi. She didn't need to see. Görmesi gerekmedi. Görmesi gerekmedi. Yanına fazla eşya alman gerekmez. You don't need to take extra stuff with you. Yanına fazla eşya alman gerekmez. Yanına fazla eşya alman gerekmez. Okay, that's it. I will leave you with the sample sentences and the charts here. Use these to make new sentences and write them below in the comment section, okay? It will take some practice. It is not a very easy grammar point, but I believe that you can manage it. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. I will see you next time. Görüşmek üzere. Bye. Let's take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.